Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Gator Trax MX Electric on this 2015 to 2020 Ford F-150. For this installation, these are the tools that I'll be using. We've got a couple of Allen wrenches that are provided in our kit. I've got a Phillips head screwdriver, a 916 socket with extension and ratchet, an 11 millimeter socket, and a 13 millimeter socket with ratchet. Let's go and get started. Okay, now we went ahead and pulled the canister out of the box. There's a couple of things on here that we need to remove from shipping. This is a spiral. We're gonna pull the tube out. And then also this bracket right here, use a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew that. Okay, now go ahead and pull this out. Repeat the same on the opposite side of the canister. Make sure you save one of these brackets. Okay, now I've got the driver's side rail. The way you can tell the difference is you'll see a hole on one end of the rail. That's gonna go towards the cab of the truck and this flat spot right here is gonna to go to the outside of the truck, kind of away from the canister. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the blanket of the cover into the channel on the rail. And then when we bring it forward, we wanna make sure that this hole right here goes back behind and lines up with this hole in the canister. And this hole is gonna slide behind and line up with this hole in the canister. All right, now once you rock that down into place and line up the holes, go ahead and take one of the silver machine screws out of your kit and fasten the canister to the rail. All right, go ahead and take your second machine screw with the Phillips head screwdriver and fasten it at the back side as well. And now we're going to repeat the same on the opposite side. All right, next what we're going to do is find our canister cover. Now we've got a, a seal hanging off of one side that's going to point towards the cab. We're going to slide that canister cover into the rail. Now, if you notice, we've got a hole in the canister cover. That's going to line up to the hole in the rail when we slide it in. Now, one thing that I already went ahead and did is I took one of our screws out of our kit. I ran it through that hole and back out just to make sure all the powder coat was clear and out of the way. I did it on both sides. We're going to go ahead and line it up. Use our included Allen wrench with our included machine screws and attach them. All right, do the same on the other side. Okay, now before we just lift the cover and set it into the bed, we do need to do a little bit of prep work. Uh, we need to run this wire harness. Now, there's different ways you can do that. What we did is we just tied it off to the battery, ran it across the engine compartment, and then down and along the frame rail. Then we came up to the bed of the truck. Now, behind this bed rug right here, there is an oval hole where this plug normally sits. I went ahead and popped out the plug on both sides. That way we can make a little access hole in the bed rug and run the cable through. We'll also use that access hole when we run our drain tubes out. One other thing you want to do, if you have the box link system from Ford, you want to remove your front tie down cleats and get those out of the way. All right, now we can go ahead and enlist the help of a friend, lift the cover into the bed of the truck, make sure the rubber flap that's hanging off the end is over top of the bulkhead. All right, once that's in place, go ahead and trim off the excess. Okay, now that we've got the cover in the bed of the truck, I've actually gone ahead and closed the tailgate. The cover is currently all the way forward. We need to bring this edge of the cover to one eighth of an inch away from the tailgate. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna get that bracket that I had to remove earlier and it's told you to save. Uh, this part of the bracket, you'll notice, has a little bit of a shelf on it. That's one eighth of an inch thick. That is your space. So what you wanna do is put that up in here and then slide the rail back to where it contacts that bracket. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, now here is the bracket that we're dealing with. Um, these brackets on this application are exactly the same in all four locations. So what we're gonna do, spread that bracket apart. We're gonna slide it up behind the bed cap and in between these two set screws right here. Once it's all the way up to the top, we can go ahead and start tightening that down. Now, as we tighten it down, we wanna make sure the rail stays level and flat to the top of the bed cap. 
All right, your second clamp is going to install the exact same way, just in between these two set screws. Okay, now just repeat the same process on the opposite side, but on the driver's side, in the front, you're gonna have a large light, so you'll need to use a socket extension to tighten that clamp. All right, now we can go ahead and plug the canister plug into the main harness. Only goes together one way. And then you can tuck it out of the way. Okay, now here we are underneath the canister. Uh, now I've already gone ahead and removed the protective film off of the canister itself. That way I can install my drain tube and the seal will, will seal well across that hole. Uh, now here's the drain tube. What I like to do is I'll fish it through the hole that I made in the liner. And I like to run it out kind of at an angle. This is gonna go right out the bed of the truck. Now, once that's in place, I've got this washer that is on the end of the drain tube and I'm going to push that up into the hole. You're gonna hear it click twice. Once it's clicked twice, that's installed. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Well, now that the cover is on, I went ahead and installed the fuse. Now I can go ahead and test the operation of the cover. Take the key fob and press and hold the C button. That will start to close the cover. Now keep in mind, when these seals are brand new, they have to form a memory. So you may have to help it to the back in order for it to close all the way. Otherwise, it's going to resist some resistance and stop about an inch from the tailgate. After a couple of days, it will close all the way by itself. That concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.